this is my routine path i encounter beautiful things from my aspect in this path which are often ignored in this world this is the start for all my artistic journey i am mark ratanraj a chennai based artist my studio is in the outskirts of chennai every day when i am passing through these streets i am witnessing changes soon this place will also become a busy developed city i don't know if these changes are good or not yet i am living in these changes வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் மை ஸ்டுடியோ ஐ டோன் நோ ஐ எம் அ செயிண்ட் ஆர் டெவல் பட் வென் ஐ என்டர் மை ஸ்டுடியோ ஐ எம் த ஹோலியஸ்ட் பர்சன் இன் த வேர்ல்ட் பிகாஸ் மை பெயிண்டிங் டீச்சர்ஸ் மீ அ லாட் திஸ் இஸ் ஓவியா எ சைக்காலஜி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் வென் ஐ டோல்ட் அர் அபவுட் திஸ் வீடியோ ஷி ஆல்சோ வாண்டட் டு ஷேர் சம்திங் Hi, I'm Ovia. Uh, I know Mr. Mark quite well. We used to have a lot of conversation about his career, about his life and stuff like that. So I just wanted to share one of the most interesting conversation, not exactly a conversation. It is more like a question and answer session. So once I asked him, who is an artist? Who can be an artist? For that he said, everyone is an artist. I was expecting something like that from him. So I asked, justify your sentence. For that he said, each and every one of them has some artistic sense innately or overtly. Uh, starting from a mother who likes to cook different recipes, to a father who likes to be organized, to a youth who likes to wear different outfits, to a child who likes the place to be messy. Art lives in each and every one of them. Looking at my confused face, he further explained, A beautiful handwriting doesn't make a good poem. Only the meaning and expression of it enhances the poem. Similarly, an art is a form of expression of one's inner soul. But the problem is, when a child draws a picture, he or she gets appreciated by everyone. But if the same picture is done by an adult, then everyone will criticize it. but the actual beauty is in the way of expression the more involved and true in your way of expression the more beautiful the art becomes okay so i was convinced with the answer so i moved on to the next one i asked him about his style of art like why specifically lines for that he said lines have fascinated him from his childhood His father would draw some stick figures on the plate he ate to entertain him. His fascination started from there. Even in his college days, his masters have worked on lines. His first trainer Mr. Vanarat says and I quote, "Lines are like skeleton, a base. If if you can manage to understand it and interpret it properly, then you can apply anything on top of it and mold it." So these inspirations from his past made him to look at everything as a line related figure. So whatever he encounters he would simply translate into two lines and will further experiment by adding his own creativity. But he says some undrawn lines by the viewer's capture of the essence of the work as a whole will automatically evolve into a complete form. Yeah, so far I've been telling about him as an artist. but you should definitely know the other side of him the great mr mark ritnaraj is also my dad apart from being an artist he is also dad goals but he has his own manufacture defects namely short term memory loss seriously i have been with him for almost 20 years and still he could not remember my birthday not just mine even my mother's or my brother's 
His memory loss is so funny that he couldn't even identify his own vehicle without his helmet on top. But anyways, he has never failed to impress me both as an artist and as a dad. Hope he impresses you too.